Yes. <laughs> well, wasn't that an interesting shoot or what, Aditya? Yes. Oh, yeah. So, for viewers, um, against our usual practice of introduction and then actually going and shooting something outside and then coming back and uh, giving you a conclusion, we actually went ahead and shot first. Okay, so we coming from that short, we were so excited about the, you know, the kind of results. We thought, okay, now this is the time to actually do that introduction. So the introduction can be a little more convincing. So, you already guessed it. We're going to talk about the Oppo Reno 8. Alright, so we took it out of the box and we have it here. And what are we going to have today is we're going to, after a long break, we're going to reintroduce the most popular video series in Pixel Village called the Shoot Like a Pro. This one is going to be the 14th one. Shoot Like a Pro. I would, I would like to rather call this as Shoot in the Dark. Very safely with Oppo Reno 8. Well, this is the latest, it's a trending phone. Oppo Reno 8 is what we have and uh, what we have done. Okay, let me also tell you before I go into the phone, this is uh, a very powerful but yet uh, a mid-size phone in terms of budget. Um, I think it's about 30,000 Indian rupees. Uh, we don't really worry about that at this point, but what I'm going to really worry about this is the processing power and the camera which we really care about. So this one has got the Diamond City, MediaTek Diamond City 1300 processor which is like a nice powerful processor and what is most important are the uh, sensors, the camera sensors. But these days I don't know how many people buy the phone only to make telephone calls, right? If that's all what you want to do, any phone will do but I think it is the camera which is the main sales driving uh, feature. So I'm going to definitely going to be talking about something that I really liked, which is the uh, camera. Now this phone has two flagship camera sensors. Um, the rear one is the Sony, the IMX. 766 which is the 50 megapixel sensor the rear sensor which is the main camera now the front sensor again is another uh, flagship from sony the imx 709 which is a 32 megapixel sensor now that sensor in fact both sensors have uh, uh, very very special features the rear sensor is 1 by 1.56 which is like a really large sensor we're not going to go into real technical details but be assured that the bigger the sensor, better your image. It takes more light in, more light means less noise in your visuals. For this camera, there is, there's nothing called darkness and there's nothing called noise. I mean, it shot just like it was day in absolute darkness. Anyway, so we will see that. Um, other than that, it's got a 4K 30 video, no stabilization, of course. The Oppo Reno 8 Pro, which is the elder brother of uh, this, this model, has lots of extra features. Of course, it comes with additional price as well. So that has 4K 60, it's got a, a better neural engine and it's got meta stabilization for video and things like that. Since we don't have it, we don't worry about it, but I didn't miss any of those features in this phone because I was shooting everything in a very nice care for you. I mean, in fact, you will see how we shot it. So, other than that, I really like the way it is finished. It's got a premium finish and it also, I don't know if you can see it, it's got a nice sheen as well. It's got a goldenish uh, metallic kind of, kind of a dhup chow feel, right? I mean, as they say in uh, India, in Hindi, uh, it's, it's a nice feel and it's unibody. So it has a nice premium feel and it's very, very light and excellent screen. And it's got 90 Hertz refresh rate, which is brilliant for this price range. It's brilliant. And of course we shot like it's a majority of the morning and the evening we shot and the battery was perfectly fine. 4,500 mAh battery with an 80 watt charger. If you are very careful and using, I think it'll, it'll see you through for a day, probably a day and a half, very, very comfortably. So what we have done is actually, you know, my son, right, Vishnu, uh, he's featured in many other videos, of, in earlier videos, in fact, of uh, Shoot Like a Pro. 
uh, he is now a big boy uh, so what what we thought is we'll take him along and uh, I'll, I'll i'll actually use him to demonstrate to you how easy is this phone to even for someone like vishnu uh, to use correct with very minimum or absolutely no understanding of photography and the technology and the intricacies that is involved in photography you can just set the camera to the appropriate mode just aim and shoot and let the camera worry or let the phone and the processor and the sensor worry about themselves so that's what we did and fortunately we got a nice location thanks to lodha we got this nice clubhouse which was i mean it was an off day for the club so they were maintaining the club there was i mean of course you will hear a lot of ambient noise of people working in the backdrop but there was no light you know if it was it was better for us and we shot many things in that without any problem during the day and now we are back here doing the intro and also the conclusion so let's roll the video what i have done is i've called a couple of friends of mine from the academy they are models uh -huh. okay and that's how i'm going to teach you photography today and they are professional models and uh, you can show off taking these pictures you can yeah. show off with your friends okay yeah hi 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 hi, hi dheeraj vishnu that's romi hi dheeraj hi. hi and uh, today's hero is you or the phone the phone <laughs> <laughs> okay so what i'm going to do is uh, instead of me taking pictures i want to show him with the help of you both uh, uh, teach him to do photography Uh, now like i told you there is not too much of a learning curve when you work with the, the reno 8 because it's already an intelligent phone all you have to do is to clean the lens and activate the 3x3 grid aim it frame it well yes. and you, you know the framing right yeah. you remember our first videos where you were yeah. the models you know a uh, two third yeah. going close and all that you can use that and take a picture and the camera the phone's intelligence will do everything else okay so i'm going to give this to you as you can see there is not enough light here on their face right and there is background is really bright see how the image is going to turn out to so what do you have to do kneel down kneel down okay go a little that way and uh, okay and now you can see the uh, don't take the picture yet just yeah. as yet and see the camera is identified the face just move yeah see the camera is mm -hmm. identifying the face right yeah. okay and make sure that your verticals are perfect and just take a shot nice and now you preview the image see how it has come out yeah. isn't it yeah so when you shot the images were not bright now see how the images are all right so Virtually there is no light here. Yeah. Correct. And there's no light situation. Mm -hmm. You can take brilliant images. Mm -hmm. So now what I will do is I'll add some lights to it. Okay, and create a nice, fashionable, very very glamorous kind of a shot. Yeah. Uh, let's try that. And yeah. after that we will do some videos also. Yeah. Okay. So let's bring in that light. So aperture mm -hmm. is something which controls the depth of field. Mm -hmm. And in this camera. using the uh, the setting here you can control the aperture at 1.4 you will get maximum blurred background uh -huh. and as you change it and make the increase the value correct mm -hmm. you will get more and more information in the back mm -hmm. so let's start here at 1.4 okay ready let's take a shot here Okay let us go to the next one let's say 2.8 Okay nice and 
an F F four, okay. F five six still stay still. Eight. F11 Okay and F16 So we will see these images alongside all the images that we shot then you will know the difference Now keep an eye on the sand layer at the back as the F value increases you will see the chandelier slowly coming into focus. It basically means the depth of the image is increasing. But at the same time, there is no difference in the light on the face of the model. This is almost magical for a phone camera. You shoot a lot of selfies in restaurants, right? Yeah. Whenever you go, you shoot what you're eating and also yeah. take uh, pictures. This uses its uh, AI features and it allows you to control. Now, usually what happens is you take a picture and then you use an app yeah. to, to kind of fine tune, yeah. correct? That's what uh, everybody does. Yeah. Here, you can actually see it, uh, like smoothing of the skin, correcting your anatomy, you know, like your cheeks, your eye size, your nose, all can be done using this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do give this to you. Uh, why don't you try it yourself sure. and do a, a selfie. So you need to use this uh, icon here and pick. Yeah, so it shows up a lot of options and uh, you can. Now, what are you doing? You're correcting your skin. Yeah. Correct. Nice. So you can stop at a place where you're happy with the, the correction and take a shot. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Now you go back. The other options, you just click on the options. Now you can, you know, you can keep correcting your eye size. You know, there are so many things that it can do. It's unbelievable. I mean, when I saw this for the first time, I was like, where is photography going? You know, I mean, it's become uh, virtually, I mean, if I may use the word idiot proof, you know, <laughs> in the sense, you don't need to really know about photography, but still this phone gets you brilliant images. Uh, maybe you can take another selfie without any correction so that, you know, I can show a comparison to, you know, you can see the comparison yeah. with correction and without correction. No skin correction at all. Natural. Natural. Well, the most interesting fact is that you can actually see the effect or the extent of effect that you want before actually taking the shot. Look at these images. <laughs> I am trying to teach Vishnu to shoot some video using the uh, Oppo Reno 8. Uh, what you have to do is, it's, it's very simple. Uh -huh. Now we have this wonderful location, right? Yeah. So you have to, any video that we do, um, very unlike a, a vlogging style, mm. you cannot shoot it in one go. Uh, you need to establish the space, mm -hmm. correct? then get your characters in, yeah. in a wide angle, yeah. then go to a mid-size shot, then go to a close-up shot, mm. okay? So what I'm going to do is uh, use video, mm. correct? Then you, you can shoot it at 4K, mm. all yeah. right? So at 4K, it shoots, 4K is like very high resolution, okay? Mm. We can actually see it in that big TV in our mm. house uh, at 4K and it shoots at 30 fps mm. so 30 frames is like a decent speed mm. it's called frame speed i'll explain to you later that's a little okay. technical okay yeah. but you don't need to worry about it. one second is uh, uh in comparison to reno mm. pro the reno 8 pro mm. reno 8 pro shoots 60 sec 60 frames mm. that's the only difference yeah. we will shoot some slow motion also along okay. with it and 
use it along with this video all right now and again shoot it using your landscape this is called the landscape mode yeah and this is called your portrait mode okay, okay? so when you shoot like this you are now establishing the, the the location correct so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this to establish location ready so uh, you watch me doing okay. this okay you stand there yep. action okay card action So now I'll go to the burst mode. So to go to burst mode, what you have to do is you have to go to more, okay? And you need to look for uh, the slow-mo, okay? That's a slow motion. This cannot shoot slow motion in 4K. Hmm. It shoots slow motion in full HD. Okay. So that is 1080p and it shoots 480 frames per second. So let's okay. do that. Yeah. Okay, we will repeat that shot again. Let's take a look at the video now. Another thing this camera can do hmm. is shoot HDR video. HDR means high dynamic range, which means it can shoot very contrasty situations. Now, if you look here, this area is, is, is in shadow hmm. and through that glass, it's, you see bright sky. Yeah. So if you shoot in a regular phone, you will either shoot that or shoot this. Hmm. You know, if somebody is walking down, that face will go dark. Yeah, it's, it's called silhouetted. Get silhouetted against that bright light. Yeah. So what what I have done is our models are there. Hmm. They're going to walk down the stairs, correct? And they will their faces also will be visible against this bright backdrop. Okay. okay. Let's see that. Can you see this? Yeah. This is very bright, and people are going to walk down the steps. So I'm going to hold my camera straight. Ready? Action! See now, you can still see their faces. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. It's against a nice, very bright backdrop, mm. but you can still see their faces. You saw how it shot in absolute darkness yeah. there, right? It can also shoot video. For oh. example, this camera, which is a professional camera, will see this as silhouette. Uh -huh. There's some light in the backdrop, but there's absolutely no light in this this portion, right? Yeah. See how this camera is going to see it. Okay. So, right. And as they walk towards the camera, mm -hmm. and the moment the camera senses the face, it'll kind of suddenly become bright and readjust uh, the the expo. I mean, it it does everything internally. You don't need to really worry about mm -hmm. it. Okay. Ready. See. Look at this. Okay. Action. See now. Can you see that? Yeah. Wow. Brilliant. It's almost like daylight. Almost like daylight. Look at this. Look at this. This is absolutely dark yeah. inside, but see the way the camera saw it. Yeah. Amazing, no? Yeah. This phone really reminded me about this classic advertising by David Ogilvy way back. I, I, I think it is in the 70s where it was an ad for this brand called Araldite, which was an adhesive. Um, it was this large billboard where they took a car, a passenger car, physically and pasted it onto the billboard. And uh, the line said, it also sticks handles to teapots. I'm sure lots of people will have seen it. If not, 
go check it's an interesting ad those were the golden years of advertising anyway this phone also make calls this phone also is fantastic because of its processor can do gaming because after the shoot uh, you know i was looking for vishnu and he, he disappeared and you know and i saw him by the pool playing his favorite video game uh, using this phone yeah so this does a whole host of things and it also has things like a multiple screen connect and all that i mean the features are endless but what i wanted to talk to you was about photography and you really saw what this phone is capable and what you can with your limited understanding of photography can now up your game and probably gain that extra few likes in your social media you care about that right i see you another one soon because this phone actually has more capabilities i'm going to i'm going to explore that and come back to you and also by the way we have a marathi channel now uh pixel village marathi please take a look at it and yeah as usual uh subscribe and support us bye for now